This year has been insane in the music video world. From grainy nostalgic videos to never before seen transitions, music video editing is getting crazier and crazier. I've had the privilege of editing music videos for artists like Justin Bieber and Post Malone, and will reveal why these music videos I've selected have the best editing, and at the end, in my opinion, what the number one best edited music video is of 2022. Dude, this is so nuts. <laughs> You can use a motion controlled camera to duplicate yourself around a screen, but also glitching out yourself where you create a 3D effect based on the camera perspective absolutely blows my mind. Not to mention the fact that they just freezed outside with VFX in the middle of the intro. Oh, and I forgot, we're gonna be going through these videos from the least best edited to like some of the most mind blowing amazing stuff at the end. So stay tuned. Uh, do you wanna bomb Barbie? Tomboy does a great job at just matching the way that the visuals look to how the song feels. But the thing that impresses me the most is these newspaper transitions. If we frame by frame this transition, we have a full shot that starts getting cut out into newspapers. And I did this in one of my music videos with Katie Turner. And let me tell you, it took me so long to create Photoshop files that looked like actual papers. And the way that they're able to transition from this shot into a full body shot from another different angle into a whole nother shot that goes into a close up in the hallway shooketh. I cannot explain this emotion. One, four, three, I love you. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's so good. I remember the first time I saw this, I was so shook. The creativity and awareness that they have to know that people are watching this on YouTube, so they use the YouTube interface, they pause the video, they rewind. Those kinds of editing techniques are so genius. And not to mention this mind-blowing split-screen transition where they actually built an entire green screen set to accomplish it. Oh my God. What impresses me the most about this video is the VFX. The way that they've combined bringing to life the choreography with certain VFX shots and transferring a fire and life essence between each other is one of the most cinematic videos I've seen this entire year. And the fact that the editor just decides to hold on shots make the VFX actually feel more real. <laughs> With the uh, new year around the corner, I've decided to pick up a new resolution, which is to start feeding my body better nutrients. And so I just got AG1 from Athletic Greens. It's a comprehensive all-in-one nutritional drink that will help your energy, endurance, gut health, brain health. And I actually have had this box for a month. I saved it literally for that shot. So I'm here to tell you about the differences between last month Jordan and now Jordan after having AG1 in my routine. So it's literally just this green powder that you combine with water. So since I've been doing AG1, I've noticed a little bit of an increase in sustained energy, and that's because it provides nutrients and phytonutrients that sustain your energies, meaning I have energy longer throughout the day. The biggest thing I like about it though is it really helps me to focus for a long time, especially if I'm doing long edit sessions or working on my next YouTube video. This flavor is like a floral cotton candy, but it actually tastes pretty freaking good. And if you wanna also start taking your health under control this new year, go ahead and hit my link in the description to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. I'm so glad I got AG1 from Athletic Greens. You cannot put a price tag on your health. I, I just died on your Talk That Talk is full of so many editing tricks and it has some of the best transitions I've seen in K-pop, just like this one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We love a star transition. We do, we do. But the way that all of these K-pop zooms and effects and even star transitions work together to create a fun retro vibe, this is definitely one of the best edited videos this year. And you've probably noticed that we're actually doing a lot of K-pop videos. I realized that there are an entire world of music videos out there that I probably haven't seen in 2022, but I'm throwing a lot of extra bonus K-pop videos in here for my OG subscribers since we cover a lot of K-pop on this channel. 
Jump with some skates. Hella, hella. Let's think about this for a second. Oh. Tell me what you would do for steady. Oh. When you show your show, no credit. Oh. When you show your bro for leverage. Dude, Kendrick Lamar has insane music videos. And this video is so good because of what I like to call plot twist editing. For example, we hold on this really blank, boring shot for quite a while. And then all of a sudden, the entire shot shatters and we realize that it's a mirror. And also, the editor does a great job at varying up shot lengths. So you have really, really quick shots coupled with a really, really long shot, which really keeps the audience guessing and not knowing what comes next. The thing I love about this video is it's not too complicated, but they use a lot of editing tricks to make the video more fun. In this intro, the fact that they have a checkered background, they're popping off and on sunglasses by just jump cutting two of the shots together, as well as just switching out the item that they're highlighting with really interesting images. It's simple, but so fun. And then in the outro, they do this really fun hair transition, start adding all kinds of motion graphics, changing the background, and it just gives a really fun poppy feel. Dude, after watching this again, I feel like I should maybe put this later. It is such an acid trip. Not only do they have psychedelic fast cuts, there's also sound effects that go with every cut. Editors, that is so important. If you're having fast cuts, put audio with it. This is absolutely nuts. The glitches, look at this VHS glitchy vibe, even match cutting eyes together. The amount of time it would have taken for an editor to create this absolutely blows my mind. This opening shot is one of my favorite in K-pop videos from this year. The contrast between this really nice, dainty piano cue and this horror punching sound effect as she drops the apple and the title pops up. Bro, crazy. That is such good editing to not cut. Even something as simple as adding titles is one of the most important jobs of an editor. The control that the editor had over the sound and adding titles at the perfect time is incredible. And in general, the whole music video does a great job contrasting calm and chaos. The editor will contrast really long, smooth takes with insane, quick, murderous cuts. And there's no wonder why this Kill Bill inspired music video makes us feel something. This video has the most insane motion control camera transitions that I've ever seen. The fact that they were able to transfer from the floor to the ceiling in a smooth shot still blows my mind. Overall, this video does a great job of using editing and VFX to trick the audience's brain into understanding what's real and what's not. This video does an amazing job at matching camera movement to create smooth cuts. It also has one of the most insane builds from long cuts to quicker cuts and quicker cuts and quicker cuts throughout the entire video. If you watch the end, the amount of camera whips and just insane transitions that they use absolutely blows my mind. Creating a great build throughout a video is a huge underrated thing that editors need to get better at. Also, this video won the VMA for best editing in 2022, so you can't not have it on the list. New Jeans has some of the most incredible storytelling with editing that I've seen in K-pop this year. I'm actually really passionate about this. The intro is so good by using calm and then really loud sounds to contrast with VHS footage. And the whole vibe of the video is very real, very authentic, very relatable, and I think the editing accentuates that so well. The fact that they were able to tell an amazing story of a girl who was going through something and had imaginary friends in new jeans just with editing absolutely blows my mind. If you guys want me to make a full video breaking down the A and B sides of Ditto, let me know in the comments. Dude! 
two baddies. I'm still shook from two baddies. The thing that impresses me the most is not only they're just doing crazy editing, but the editing matches the way that the music sounds so perfectly. The ba ba da ba 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 boom literally encapsulates how the music sounds visually. If you turn off the sound and watch the video, you can literally still hear the music because of how well the visuals match it. This one's directed by Gibson Hazard, who I've been following for a while, and I'm very impressed. This dude has one of the most insane knacks of transitioning shots that shouldn't be able to transition together, together. And the thing that impresses me the most is not only the transitions, but the way that he time remaps certain moments to fit with the song. This is a slept on video in the K-pop world. The Google Earth-like editing mixed with the pixel sorting is a genius idea. It kind of reminds me of an old Vin Staples video, but I love the stylistic glitchy approach they added to this one. There's a whole lot of sound design within the actual track and the way that they used glitches and VFX and different frames and flashing people all over the place. It's just so fun to watch as an editor. <laughs> Dude, DPR videos are always insane. If you want me to react to more, let me know in the comments. The way that motion and color and visual effects are just matched together is absolutely nutty. I think my favorite thing about DPR videos is the fact that every single shot isn't played like normal footage. There's always a VFX element added to it to make it feel a little out of this world and whatever emotion that they're going for. But if you want to get really good at music video editing, a must watch. So what? This has some of the most creative editing techniques and I love that it was shot on film because they'll take that film and they'll reorient it so you can see the imperfections, all the mats on the outside, but perfectly match up faces and objects into some of the most insane, really quick cut match cuts that I've ever seen. Seventeen Hot has some of the most insane rotoscoping and matting transitions that I've ever seen. The way that they're able to add text effects and even add zoom so that arms and objects go outside of the frame really bring those fast cuts to life. And not only that, they have some of the best match cut transitions between scenes and K-pop videos that I've ever seen. They're not matching people, they're matching camera movement, point of interest cutting, and props to create those match cuts. This is the number one best edited K-pop video of 22, in my opinion. And then next we're gonna get to the number one best edited video of 2022. Are you serious, bro? The glitch transitions. They roughly rotoscoped out characters, made them really big for a second. But the reason that this is the number one best edited K-pop video this year is the way that the transitions and the camera movement feel like actual choreography to the song. This is the number one best edited music video of 2022. Oh my god! It looks like claymation stop motion, but it's actually all VFX, all animated. The way that they scaled everything down, emulated real cameras, and actually changed the frame rate from 24 to 12 really makes it feel like stop motion. And the reason for me that it wins best editing is actually the intro. Information gets slowly revealed to you in a very, very interesting way. They just set the scene and then they start spinning. And this perspective is absolutely impossible because if this was real stop motion, a camera couldn't fit into that tiny of a space. And this part is shot at 24 frames per second, a normal shutter speed, that's why we have all this motion blur. And then right when the beat comes in, we switch to stop motion. Ah, it's so good. So there you have it. Those are the best edited music videos of 2022. And now it's time to wrap up 2022 with a little bit of. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me this year. I'm going to be taking January off, but I'll see you back in February. God bless you. I'll see you next month.